Anthony Taylor's bank accounts are being investigated. Manchester United continue to lose points almost every week due to refereeing errors. Anthony Taylor, who awarded a penalty against Liverpool despite Juan Bissaka not making contact with Elliot, is being investigated. Sir Jim Ratcliffe had a meeting with the Premier League president and asked for Anthony Taylor's bank accounts to be examined, suspecting suspicious activity in his account. Because these decisions are not normal, and because we have lost count of the number of mistakes Anthony Taylor has made against Manchester United, Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants Anthony Taylor not to be given any more Manchester United games. What is your opinion on this? Do you think Anthony Taylor's bank accounts should be investigated? Manchester United ready to approach 51 million to seal early signing. The future of Gleison Bremer at Juventus is up in the air and he could end up signing for Manchester United in the next transfer window. As per today's version of Corriere dello Sport, the Brazilian international has a release clause of 51 million in his contract with the Bianconeri. However, the termination clause will only become active in the summer transfer window of 2025. The Rome-based media outlet claimed that Bremer is firmly in the sights of the Old Trafford outfit to reinforce the back line. Corsport State Manchester United are ready to approach the 51 million release clause and offer Juventus a substantial capital gain to seal the signing of Bremer as early as next summer. The 27-year-old has so far featured in 30 games in the Serie A this season and helped the old lady keep 14 clean sheets. Manchester United have a negative goal difference after 31 Premier League games and have already conceded 46 goals. The 20-time English champions have not won the title in over a decade and to have any chance of challenging for the trophy next season, they must adequately improve the backline. In your view, should Manchester United pay 51 million to sign Bremer in the summer? Manchester United target 30 million dollars Andre to replace Casemiro. Manchester United are interested in signing Brazilian midfielder Andre. The Red Devils have struggled for midfield control all season, as was obvious once again in the chaotic encounter with Liverpool last Sunday. It is clear that last year's hero, Casemiro, is well past his best and does not have the legs anymore to keep up with the high-octane football of the English Premier League. The Real Madrid legend will likely be sold in the summer as Ineos plan to free up space in the books by removing his massive wages and targeting younger, hungrier players instead. As a result, the Red Devils have been linked to numerous midfielders such as João Neves, João Gomes and Yusuf Fofana. However, Football transfers report that United are looking at a different name to bolster their defensive midfield department. The 22-year-old has been capped five times by the Brazil national team and has played 13 times this season for his club side. The Brazilian has been described as the modern-day defensive midfielder, capable of doing everything and shying away from nothing when it comes to his responsibilities both on and off the ball. He is also said to be a blend of Joshua Kimmich and Mateo Kovacic in playing style. The Bundesliga club has set a huge price tag for Manchester United's 25 goal target with a release clause of 80 million euros in 2025. Leipzig do not want to lose Lois Openda this summer and the Bundesliga club have placed a massive 100 million price tag on the player to keep the likes of Manchester United away. The 24 year old joined the German club ahead of the current season for a club record 43 men darters from Lens, following a very impressive campaign in League One, the Belgian has proven to be a top signing as he has not slowed down this term, scoring 25 goals and assisting a further six across 39 matches. Should Leipzig qualify for the Champions League next season, his goals will have been crucial and therefore the Bundesliga outfit do not want to lose him this summer and have placed a hundred million dollar price tag on the forward, reports Build. Openda has a contract at Leipzig until 2028, but that has a release clause of 80 million dollars for 2025. Manchester United are in the market for a striker this summer, but it remains unclear who their top target is. Heading into the January transfer window, the Manchester club were linked with a move for Openda, but a move never materialized. The Belgian is very likely to have remained on their list and it will be interesting to see if the Premier League giants inquire about the player this summer. There's also interest in the forward from Tottenham 
and more are likely to join the race if the Leipzig star keeps putting the ball in the back of the net. However, the 100 Mimones asking price may be a turnoff for most clubs, but someone may feel that paying an extra 20 Mimatars is worth securing the player's services ahead of the competition. Manchester United midfielder injured and could now miss FA Cup semi-final. It would probably be the wrong phrase to say Manchester United can't catch a break when it comes to injuries. But you know what we mean. Since the beginning of the season, Manchester United's injuries have been building up. When one player returns, it seems another picks up a new problem. The team is seriously light at striker and at fullback, with these areas ripe for recruitment this upcoming summer. Central defence is another troublesome area, while Manchester United's midfield is also not immune to the injury crisis gripping the club. The latest player to suffer an injury is Scott McTominay. He was a surprise absentee from the matchday squad against Liverpool on Sunday in Manchester United's draw. Little information was released about the reason for McTominay's absence ahead of the game, with manager Eric Ten Hag not disclosing the full reasons. Now the Mail has shed light on the situation and explained that it is injury-related and not down to illness. McTominay, unfortunately, has suffered a hyper-extended knee and faces three weeks on the sidelines. In addition to the game against Bournemouth this coming weekend, McTominay is now currently projected to miss he FA Cup semi-final at Wembley on April 21. Scott McTominay joins a growing injury list, although notably he is the only midfielder currently ruled out. United's problems are largely concentrated in defence, with a couple of question marks in attack too. We do hope for a couple of positive surprises in the lead-up to the FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City. However, the way Manchester United's season has been going, you would expect there to be more bad news ahead of the date at Wembley. Whatever the result against Bournemouth this coming Saturday, the most important outcome might just be a full bill of health for all involved. Manchester United decide who is in charge of recruitment ahead of transfer window. Matt Hargreaves will take control of Manchester United's recruitment plans following the departure of John Murtaugh. Hargreaves, the director of player negotiations, was heavily involved in United's discussions for signings last summer, having effectively replaced Matt Judge, who left in 2022. There remains uncertainty over the long-term future of Hargreaves as United plan to hire Dan Ashworth as their inaugural sporting director and Jason Wilcox as technical director. Ashworth is on gardening leave at Newcastle and United are yet to make any headway in discussions over a severance package. Ashworth is not expected to be involved in recruitment this summer. Wilcox, the director of football at Southampton, could join sooner and sources at the championship club have suggested he could leave before the end of the season.